Hi, I'm Mike. Why do people choose to be ranchers or farmers? Isn't it a lonely, backbreaking, monotonous, tedious, low-paying, dull job? Well, today I'm here to share with you why I do this year after year, why I left a six-figure corporate job to do it, and why I still enjoy it on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back to Our Wyoming Life, and thanks for coming along and exploring the ranch life with us. If you're new here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory, and if you've heard this before, bear with me as it does pertain to what we're gonna be talking about here today. My wife, Erin, and I, we weren't born ranchers or farmers. Neither of us had any real exposure to any of it before we came to work here. We both worked in the corporate radio world for some of the top markets in the United States, but all that changed when Aaron's stepdad became sick and asked for help running the ranch here in Northeast Wyoming. To make a long story short, we quit our jobs and came here with no idea of what we were in for. At that time, I believed almost every misconception about ranchers and farmers, from the old McDonald character bumping through the fields in his overalls on his little tractor, or somebody out tending to a few cows. Assumptions are easy to come by. Even my first few months here, I saw the land, I saw the equipment, and coming from a management background at that time, I saw the massive capital that it kept to keep this place running. I learned over time that most operations like ours operate on one paycheck a year when we sell calves. And I also learned that the profit can come and go very quickly based on repairs, weather, or even disease. Over my first couple of years here on the ranch, I was lucky enough to have my father-in-law Gilbert here with me to coach me along. But I also saw the toll that ranching for a lifetime had taken on him. Towards the end of his life, he was bitter and he was angry. He would tell anybody that will listen, don't ever get old, like we had any choice in the matter. He was mad at the world. He had a job that he loved his entire life, taking care of the land, the animals, and the ranch. And he knew he couldn't do it anymore. The two years that I was here with him, driving him out to the ranch almost every single day so that he could drive his gator around and turn on water or go look at the cows, I realize now that I was enabling him to continue his life on the ranch, to almost, the, almost to the very end. I know for a fact that he wanted to die alone here on the ranch. Instead, he did so in a hospital in Casper, but not alone. So why do people choose to be ranchers or farmers? Is it a lonely lifestyle? No, but it can be lonesome. you do typically work alone. And there's a reason that most tractors only have one seat, and tractors can sometimes become your office, the boardroom, and the conference room, giving you a place to, well, that you can spend hours thinking about the budget or what needs done next. On the flip side, you're gonna deal with truckers, feed stores, salesmen, and of course, 
neighbors and friends, and family. Ranching and farming isn't lonely, nor is it isolating. You typically have entire communities around you who also support you. But you also need to figure out how to support yourself. Because when it comes to the money, well, you're gonna be the last one that gets paid. Is it a low paying job? Well, it depends on who you are. For us, the ranch always gets paid first. The ranch itself is a living entity. All of the expenses are the ranch's paycheck. Plus a little extra for those surprises that might come up. What's left over might make its way into your pocket, or it might not. And you better have a backup plan. Ours is diversification of the ranch, from farmer's markets to YouTube, keep the ranch going for future generations. But hey, wait, <laughs> it's backbreaking work. Well, I wouldn't call it backbreaking, but it's some long hours, heavy lifting, rarely have vacations, no weekends off, no sick days. It can be slightly dangerous. An injury could be the end of the farm or the ranch. You can get one good night's sleep and hope that you have enough energy to last you for two days. But the real question should be, is the work worth it? So why do people choose to be farmers or ranchers? Why did Gilbert spend over 70 years of his life working on a ranch? And why was he so upset and mad at the world when he couldn't do the work anymore? Well, I'd like to think that we do it because we love it, because it's good, honest work, and you work for yourself. We do it for the freedom to be able to control your own destiny and to challenge ourselves and create something of value. For me, it comes down to a promise that I made Gilbert that I would do everything that I could to help his ranch succeed so that our kids could have something to be proud of too and know the value of having a life worth fighting for. Even when I'm miles from another soul, I never feel lonely. I've been bored, but it's never been dull. My paychecks have never been more than I can spend and my back it may be sore at times, but it hasn't failed me yet. There's no place else that I'd rather be. And for me, there's no other life worth sharing with you. Thanks for coming along and exploring the ranch life while escaping the ordinary. I'm counting the days until I can go outside again in a short sleeve shirt. And that day is coming. The cows are waiting for a few nice days, hopefully, to start having calves. And I know that Aaron is waiting, well, rather impatiently, to start planting for spring. It's all on the way soon, along with another season here on the ranch, where things are going to be evolving, changing, and growing in ways that will hopefully blow your mind. Subscribe and join us, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for a ton of behind-the-scenes material that you can't find anywhere else. Coming up this week, we get ready to move out the pigs as their days on the ranch are numbered. And we have a brand new live stream on Thursday, this week with special guest Zach Johnson from Minnesota Millennial Farmer. It's gonna be a great time, and I hope that you can be there Thursday, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, right here on YouTube. Until then, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. <laughs>